Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. This is day 267 of posting a chess puzzle every day for a year. And this one is black to move. Well, I just played um, a rook c7. Pretty stupid move. But uh, the rook escapes the attack from the knight. So please pause the video now. Comment down below what you think black should do to win this position. So, um, first move. We play 92 check. Throw in a check because why not? Um, the king goes to f1, attacking our knight. And now, the idea of this knight e2 check move is to play knight f4. Because in the beginning, we noticed that the king is attacking the rook on c7. And the knight on d5 is the only piece that's defending the rook. So if we attack the knight on d5, we will be able to either win the knight or win the rook. So how do we do it? Well, we're obviously going to do it with our knight. Um, we could try something else, like bishop takes h2 check, king takes, and rook e5. But um, we have to sacrifice a piece for that, and we're not going to do that. Uh, for example, even like taking on b6, rook takes d5, and then white can play something like rook takes a7, and white will be better. So, instead, we play knight e2 check, king f1, and then we play knight f4. This attacks the knight on d5 forcing it um, to take on f4 and then now we just take on c7 and we are up in exchange for example let's say white plays knight d5 check king c6 attacking the knight um, not letting black I'm not letting white take the pawn on b6 after something like this and after this pretty easy um, position to win for example knight e3 we take on a5 and uh, yeah, we're up in exchange. We're up two pawns, and all we have to do is trade off these, uh, trade off the rooks since rooks are generally better than minor pieces in the end game. So yeah, simplify this position and easy W. Th uh, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this puzzle, and see you in day two hundred and sixty. Have a wonderful day.